Hello again, everyone. Believe it or not, people are doing... Oh, it's an on-call host. Womp, womp, womp. I think the way on-call host works is it doesn't kick until the thing is completely full. Oh, so sad. Okay, downtown loop. We can live with downtown loop. So good morning again, everyone. It is your black knight. Hoping to get a little bit. Turn catch up off. Customs are off. Catch up is on. It's one of those. And because customs are off, we're really limited to vehicles. So what are we going to get? Um, you know, let's go FMJ. I like the FMJ. We'll paint it the same way as I've got my own FMJ, so we'll just imagine. The X80 Proto is probably the one to take, but wait, it's so light. You know, people bump into it and then you're all over the place. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's a good sign. All right. Couple X80s, and then again, that's probably the wise choice. Someone just did not. I guess that guy, there's always that one guy, or at least usually that one guy who just sits there. I don't know, gets like $200 and just keeps letting it run. I don't know, what they, for whatever reason, there's always just one guy stuck at the start line. Stock car, so we don't. I mean, the X80 Proto, I think, might get the advantage of the spoiler. No stock. He's zipping around. He's weaving and swabbing. And... I'm not sure if I get the advantage of this boy. I got a bit of this It's like chaos. It's somewhat chaotic. Fifth might be a good place to sit for a little while while these guys kind of sort it out. At least one bumpy McBump Meister, it looks like. Can we get to the inside of them? The 7B is going to outhandle everything. He knows how to curb boost, so that's. Could be an interesting group. Oh dear. Passing the 7B on the loop. In the first. Oh. Come on, FMJ. Let's so show them what a Vapid can do. Alright. I got the catch up now. Again, they're going to outhandle me going into this. Oh. Actually, I think that black car probably saved me a little bit there. I think now we're back in the fifth. Fourth, but we've lost a lot of mo, so I'm guessing no, nobody's closing on me. We'll have four. Let's, let's, let's try and pick this back up. They're they're colliding midair. If it's a one lap race, then we're gonna end up in fourth because of that miscue. Nope, see, there's that guess guy. He's just there to watch the race. I don't understand. Okay, so someone wrecks the RE7B, someone wrecks the Proto. And the Proto to get by. I slip past and into the catch-up. So I don't think an FMJ has enough beans to pull away from a Proto with catch-up turned on. This would have been a good race for the Tesseract, but... No customs, so... I imagine if customs were turned on, there would have been other cars that would have been uh, more powerful than the Tesseract. Like, you just you just took the lead, matching black X80 Protos, for apparently self-destructive.
Can I just beat the catch up here? I mean, they've wrecked each other. Ketchup is such a terrible mechanic, really. Realize that, oh, it keeps races close and interesting. Yeah, it cheats the, the guys who are driving properly. One of these guys has got to go for me in the, in the loop, don't you think? Or each other. If I'm lucky, we'll go after each other. Cut that as close as possible. I'll get down on it. I think I'm in bad position here. I think you know, I've got catch up on the last turns. Two X80 protos on my tail who are willing to hit each other and me. You can hold a tight line, make them go around the outside. This is where it all ends. Isn't it? Oh, the, the, the RE7B is back. Now we're just going to trade catch up and slipstream. Is this a three lap race? Yeah, three laps. Three laps. Nobody said anything but three laps. And he's massaging the curbs as hard as he can. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. It's a game mechanic. Oh, what happened to him? What happened to me? I'm off a little bit, and now I'm oh, I'm dead. I was avoiding him as he went flying off. I ended up out of the the, the boost strips. All right, that's pretty much. I don't know that we have enough lap to get back from that. You suddenly turned. I don't know why. Somehow we're in fourth. I don't know why. Someone had issues. I think we're way too far back to pull anything off. No, it doesn't look like we're not going to try. Now, I'm not sure how I ended up on the outside of that so far that... That I ended up not getting the boost strips, but that that ended my race for the most part. It was all going so well. I mean, you can't blame the FMJ. The FMJ, I think, was the right third. How come we're in third? Someone wrecked somebody. And now third's the best we can do. I'll take a podium after all that. I wonder how we did on lap time. You wouldn't think. You wouldn't think there'd be this much. Of, you know, you think early in the morning on a Friday. This is like, you know, coming up on nine, maybe. You wouldn't have this much aggressive. I mean, the, for some reason, the last couple of days, like. It used to be you get a Bumby McBumpmeister, they're a little bit subtle. You know, they give you a little wrap to the, you know, to, to turn you or something like that. But this deep deep are just slamming each other the last couple of days. I don't know. Fastest lap. I'm gonna throw my way uh, throw my weight into duel. And normally now I, I would I would go with the Independence Day special. Just to go with the independence theme. No, I'm, I'm taking out the... Uh, if, if customs are turned on. I'm taking out the GTX. No question about it. We're in spinner anyway. So then we'll just go and... 
What do we want to bring out here? Customs are still off. He's not technically a cheater, I don't think. I think he was just ramming into people. Shut up. That's what, you, that's what your answer is, Eric. Now we can go. Maybe he's trying to milk it for as many. Oh, there's a couple joining. So the question here is now what do I take? Yeah, that's a buy fully shift there, wasn't it? Um, on spinner. Should punch up the map. I don't know how curvy this is. In spinner, you'd think it's curvy. RE7B Tempesta, ETR1, Nero. Nero Custom is not a bad choice, no matter what. The good news about the Nero Custom is it's heavy, as I recall. The Nero might be a little heavier. I think the Nero Custom might be a little lightweight. A little bit lighter. Have some. What are we looking at here? So that's the the one that's the the host. Everybody's starting to pick up my uh, my cue from the pajamas and I don't know. Bathrobes seem to be a popular thing the last couple days. Okay, that didn't really mean anything last time. Three seven Bs. Most of the fields in an re seven B. Once again, no one seems to know how to properly use the boost at the start. You can just sneak through there. This is going to get ridiculous. You see, the nice thing about the Neros are the Neros are a little bit heavy, so you can you can survive some of that stuff a little bit. Also, turn another Nero. Cut the inside. I hope I have enough beans over the RE7Bs to keep this even with ketchup turned on. That looks cool. Uh, if someone on, there are people on me, they're going to have slipstream and ketchup. At first, it's going to be a short lived thing. And look how patriotic this is. Ooh. Patriotic. It is worth the 4th of July weekend isn't doing this. I was say, it took you long enough to pass me. Come on. That was, uh, those little boosts in the rear end caused me to go into the turn too fast. That was just something that's hitting me for no damn reason. I'm always up for a challenge. Don't know what happened there. That wasn't my fault. Let's see in our Nero. How many positions we can make up. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull to overhaul the leaders. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Make it! Oh. You know, these sloppy drivers. Guys, sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Right, if I could just had to, I'd just taken a slightly higher line there, I would have passed them both. 
stuck back here with the sloppiness. No, you don't come down enemy fine. See how that works out for you. You're in a light car. The RE7B is light. It's one of the ways that it's able to handle so well. It does have a ton of grip. It has a ton of down for us more than grip. Okay, let's see if my top end will buy me anything here. Okay, now he can take that turn flat out, I can't. It'll be interesting to see how many laps this is. I don't think it's a plank of plank. I don't, I don't remember. You know, it's probably hard to remember of these. No, it's it's a lap race. If you've got three laps on it, we might have a chance of doing something if we're really outpacing people. Five laps. Five laps is actually long enough that I think I'm going to have to make this my last race. That's a long... Why would you put five laps on downtown? It's way past the, the big money visit point, the sweet spot. Into the blender. Cut back to the inside. <laughs> I tried to be cute there. And I, I screwed myself. I tried to go too far in on him. I tried to ride the wall and it, oh, it's all falling apart. Try to get cute. One little mistake, now you're back down positions. Well, I wasn't trying to ram him out of the way either. So, I mean, you know, you're trying, trying to take a line where... So, I guess I'm a sloppy driver too, isn't that the case? All right, we got five laps though. We can neaten it up. Five laps in some open track. I might be able to pull the best lap out of that if I, if I get enough open track. Not this lap. Like next lap. Watch me next lap. Where are Hi, my name is Luca. I just entered first place. I'm driving faster than you. I guess you could say in your face. <sighs> what the heck? That shouldn't have happened. I wasn't turning that way. Come on, gears up. That was smooth, at least. I'm losing the tail on this thing. I don't know why. Okay, well, he's... He's just blocking. Excuse me. He has decided to heck with it. I'm just going to sit in the darn tube and make people's lives miserable. And the sad part is, is I just took a position for me because I was behind that guy. This is a long course. Why would you put five laps on this? this that's insane. I think I've made too many mistakes, really, but I'll see over five laps. Three of five. So I've got that's left. So this is we got three laps to go. Can we can we be faster than some of these guys? Can we get can we overhaul some people? Get some kind of better position than him? Maybe not. We're going to have to depend on some mistakes being made here. 
I might have to just try and, and, and run as clean as I can and try and get a good a good lap time. Go for the pride of the lap time on this one. So far back. Oh! Didn't you wreck me earlier? Have a nice day. What happened here? Okay, so the yellow Nero's on my tail. I'm just going to boost this guy up here. I'm not going to try and do any fancy dancy maneuvers. We're going to go for the over-the-top overtake. Nero's on my inside left. Let's try and take the inside corner. Oh, yeah, I can see he's losing to the RE7Bs in the curves. This is going to be tricky. I take just the right line coming up through here. But we don't end up... Alright, we got through that. See? He's a bumpy McBumpmeister. There's no need for that. Just like there's going to be no need for what happens when I catch up with him. If I can pass him cleanly, I will. If I can't, well, we're passing. How did that one little bump put me that far back? This upset you that little bit, you know? Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hurt myself. I'm not gonna take us both out just to take us both out. But I mean, you know what? There, there kind of comes times when you feel like some of these people need a lesson. Like, oh, here you are. This is what it's like to be on the receiving end of your bullshit. And that's just, you know. And if you wreck somebody, you know, never do a man. <laughs> if you're going to strike a king, kill him. And that's, uh, never do your enemy a minor injury. He just hurt himself there. collision there. That would have made the day, wouldn't it? Okay, he's coming up into traffic. Odds are this isn't going to end badly for somebody. Dude, I'm trying to go around you and you climbed up on me and I can't... I, I had nowhere to go there. Like why would why was he doing that? This is gonna be ugly. Heavy traffic. Third? That's interesting. This guy's just looking around in front of me trying to he doesn't know I'm there or he's blocking. Second place. Ah, who the fuck? And now we're racing Bumpy McBumpmeister. Okay, yeah, let's let's let these guys fight out. If we get one of them to take him out. This is this is everybody's here. First to fifth is all in one very short area. Oh goodness. Briefly had the lead, but oh, this is just ugly. Look at this. Or it's thrilling. One of the, whatever you want to do, somebody got wrecked there. 
Okay, so <laughs> totally wrecked there. Coming through. He's probably coming from my tail. But can you blame him, really? I know the tubes I should have an advantage. Oh, you pink car, would you stop doing that? That's looking awfully intentional. The pink car just keeps coming across me. I don't feel bad now for spinning you before. Okay, I've got him in a weak point here. Pink car, if I don't make this over this, because you, you stupid pink car! Like, why does he keep trying to cross in front of my path? Like, go, go drive straight! It's not that hard. We're all in for the lead. We still got two laps to go, don't we? No, this isn't the last lap. Well, barring some kind of drama, thanks to the pink car, I don't think we're in, I don't think we're in this. We were in comp, in com you know, competition for the lead, and then someone decides to crash into you in mid-flight, or just didn't have control over their car and drove sloppy and you know, flipped me. I don't know. Can we come back from the? Uh, no, we can't. What the this lag burst and then a slide. Definitely, we're at 15 minutes for this race. That's long enough. That's long enough for a video, and especially with this crew. I, I just don't see myself closing this up. I'd have to be pulling so much more pace than them. I don't know that I, that's even a thing. And these are long laps. But still. Okay. <laughs> Are you serious? What they do to, oh, to everybody, take everybody out at once except the leader? Second, third, second. What am I in? I don't even know. Well, if you told me that second was a possibility, I would have said you were crazy. Now, I've got no catch up on me, I don't think. I don't think it's progressive like that. So. I could be wrong. It feels a little bit like there's a little bit of catch up going. And somebody's closed on me. Is it the yellow? Somebody got the slip on me here? Let's see if that gets me a little bit of room. At this point, I just want the race to end so I can take second. Walk away with a little bit of dignity. Don't bump me off on this one again. There's the finish line. <laughs> He's going for the block. He's effective. All right, so third place. After all that, third, getting a podium. Pass at the end. I mean, trying to trying to beat an RE7B in the final curve is going to always be tough. I don't know how he caught me, though. Slipstream? Shouldn't have had that much slipstream. 7B doesn't have enough top end to really keep up with a Nero, I don't think. Backing over the line. I 
I don't even know if they deserve a GG, really. They're so sloppy. Oh, it's Sloppy Boy 1. They got good to breaking everybody. Best slap, though, by two seconds. GG, guys. Gotta go. Farewell to your sloppiness. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go do something productive. Do something even if it's wrong. We're just gonna either work in the yard or polish the car or something. I don't know that. Render a video. On that note, folks, this is your Black Knight. Have a happy Independence Day and have a great night.